55 years old? I got carded the other day and it felt great. Of course, it was at a vaccination station, but I'll take it. <laughs> they say 55 is a great age. I sure hope so, because that's the age I'm gonna be for the next 10 years. <laughs> 55 is a great age because I don't have to dress to impress anymore. Because at 55, people are just impressed you're dressed. <laughs> when you're a 25 year old man, people are like, that tie doesn't match that shirt. That belt doesn't match those shoes. But when you're a 55 year old man, people are like, well, no, your body's covered, that'll do. <laughs> Let's get some wings. <laughs> The great thing about being 55 is I don't have to look great. I just have to look great for 55. <laughs> and living alone with no dependents took care of that. <laughs> I went to my 20 year high school reunion and saw a 38 year old classmate of mine who's a hardworking dad with six kids. I mistook him for his father. <laughs> I was like, hi, Mr. Jackson, how's Craig? He's like, I am Craig, you idiot. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, Craig. I got confused seeing you here with your mother. He said, that's my wife, you idiot. I'm like, wow, how's that Brady Bunch thing working out for you? They say that it's harder to stay fit when you're 55. I think it's easier. All you have to do is adjust your fitness goals. <laughs> When I was 25, I went to the gym to get buff and ripped. Now I go to the gym to feel less guilty about eating pie. <laughs> as soon as my Fitbit says 500 calories, it's goodbye walking track and hello bakery. 25-year-old <laughs> me wanted to be buff. 55-year-old me just wants to be regular. 25-year-old me was like, I just benched 200 with no spotter. 55-year-old me is like, I just went number two with no spotter. <laughs> and a health club locker room talk's a little bit different between younger men and older men. Younger men are like, hey bro, what do you take? Whey protein or wheat re protein, bro? Whey protein, bro, because it's way better, bro. That's why they call it whey protein, bro. <laughs> But middle-aged men are like, how do you get your fiber from powder or chewables? <laughs> are you kidding? I'm 60. I stick firecrackers up my butt. <laughs> I was so into bodybuilding at 25 that I was afraid to appear weak, so I wouldn't let anybody spot me on the bench press. No thanks, dude, it's only 225. If I can't get 225 up on my own, I deserve a crushed trachea. <laughs> Who knows, it might even make my voice deeper. <laughs> but at 55, I'll waltz up to the biggest steroid munchers in the gym and go, would you mind clearing the weights off the bar for me so I don't strain my forearms? <laughs> guys are thinking, wow, this dude is weak. They're thinking, wow, this lady is safety conscious. <laughs> and although I'm a very youthful 55, the older I get, the harder it is to relate to younger comedians I work with. Not too long ago, I worked with a 24-year-old comedian, and he couldn't understand why I'm not on Tinder. How am I supposed to explain that somebody half my age, how am I supposed to explain to somebody half my age that casual romance with a stranger simply isn't worth downloading another app to my phone? <laughs> What's the matter, bro? Don't you like hooking up with hotties, bro? I'm like, yeah, bro, but not if it means creating a new username and password, bro. 